I'm excited to do some unboxing. I'll show you. It's three boxes, okay? It's three boxes. Yo, watch. Watch me, like, find out I got scammed on stream when I open some of these boxes. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never under- So, got my handy dandy um, golden knife. And we have uh, three boxes here, okay? I'm gonna show them really quick. One, two, three. Nice. Uh, so the order in which we'll open them is actually we're gonna open the small box first and we're gonna open this one so i know this one is not the big one you know so uh it's not the big thing yet but we'll save the big thing for last okay chat so okay i can't show you guys my address and shit so i'm gonna open up open up like this nice all right so there's two three things in here i don't even remember what i ordered bro there's three things in here all right we have my first item it is a floodlight but you guys are probably thinking i'm going to use this floodlight for my room i'm actually going to be using this floodlight for my garage because again i'm trying to transform my garage into like a mini warehouse slash vibe room so um what is a floodlight a floodlight is a really strong light where it kind of like lights up an area but it can change colors too so i can make my garage like purple lights if i wanted to this is this is meant to like light up a wall or light up plants or like it's meant to like light up something so uh this is going to be for my garage again this is not for my room my room is already hella extra af i don't need more lights in here so um, this is going to be from a garage. When the garage is more emptier and spaced out, it's going to be like hype, guys. Ooh. This is a mini LED video light. So this is actually a light for my camera, which means that let's say I'm vlogging in an unlit area. I can actually mount this on top of the... I can mount this on top of the um, camera and it'll allow me to get some extra light on my face, you know? And it's perfect because, okay, guys, when I do a room tour, I'm going to have my room tour like in the dark, like in this kind of setting. But with when I do a room tour, right, my room is dark, which means I can't talk to the camera with my with, with my camera because my room's not lit up. But with this, it'll light my face up and keep the ambiance of the room. So hopefully that works out. That's how I have it in my head. But let's see if that that flops or not. And the last thing that I got is... This is a, it's called a small rig, but I can't really explain it to you guys until, until I actually have the camera. All right, let's open the big bad boy. Time! All this for one item. The hell? So, uh, shit, this is massive, bro. This is like, this is, this is. It's so big. <gasps> All right, you guys ready? It's hype. Let's go. It's a gorilla pod. Now I have two gorilla pods. Um, if you don't know what a gorilla pod is, I can I can open this up once I once I open up my last package and I can show you guys what my whole setup is about. So, um, gorilla pod. Uh, I actually this is my second one now, but this is actually a different model than what I currently have. So it's my first time trying this one holy this is this is i'm looking at it it might be bigger than what i currently have all right last but not least so before i open this let me give you a little bit of backstory so i was waiting for black friday i wanted to obviously get a discount on the camera that i wanted i was shopping at 9 p.m the night before black friday and one site 9 p.m because um in east side that's already midnight um i found a website but i've never heard of this place ever in my entire life my camera went on sale for $200 off and then I was like, shit, should I order it? And then I was like, wait, let me wait for the, the West side to get their sales up. And then the West side got their sales up at midnight and the camera was only $100 off. 
So this random ass camera store from the east side of Canada was selling the camera I wanted and I pray to God I didn't get scammed. Um, we're about to find out chat. If I did get scammed, say goodbye to two thousand dollars oh it's an I, I it's a number that I uh, that I uh, ordered. God bless. Shit. God damn. God damn. So this is a Sony A6600. It is one of Sony's best mirrorless cameras. Um, specifically in the APS-C line slash crop sensor. So, um, let's open this up. Watch, watch this be an empty box. I'm going to be hella mad. It feels heavy. But I ordered the camera only. All right. Let me show you guys what this looks like. It's it's just all the... You got all your forms on top. All right. So, on the right side here, we it looks like the camera strap. We have the battery. We also have the charger. And on the left side in this white wrap is the camera itself. It feels right. Oh, I can't wait. I don't want to like take this out and like just drop it. It's actually hard to take out because it's like it's snug perfectly in the box. All right, guys, I'm going to open it up towards you guys. It feels so right. So if you look here, that's the that's the proper number for this camera. And this is like the max version of my the current camera. Like the camera you guys are watching through right now, that's the A6300. This is the A6600. So this is like the highest model in this line. And it feels exactly how it needs to feel. Wow. That's wild. That is crispy. So, um, let me just make this clear. A lot of you guys are going to be like, Oh, I can't wait for the new quality. Uh, this is not a quality upgrade. This is actually, um, it's more of a convenience upgrade to me. So when I say convenience, I mean like now that I have the benefit of two cameras, I can actually leave this camera here. Like it's perfect for stream. Just leave it the way it is. And I can actually go out and take this and do whatever I want. And now I don't have to like think about like, yo, I got to like unset up and set it up back for stream. Like now I can like actually just have one dedicated to the stream, have one dedicated for everything else. This is going to be my new TikTok camera. So it's a new TikTok camera. Um, I think one like other benefit too is that camera has no in-body stabilization, which means that um, when you like shake around and stuff, it's going to be very noticeable. But this one has in-body stabilization, which is dope um that's perfect for vlogging also this is supposed to be a flip up camera is it 1080p this is actually 4k it's the same thing i can film 4k with this camera so this is supposed to be a flip up camera now this camera actually doesn't have flip up which means that it's hard to uh it's hard to vlog with this one because you just have to trust that you're in the frame but this one should have it yes yes I can see myself. Yes. That's perfect. I don't know why they, they didn't just do this in the first place with that camera, but now I can see myself. That's perfect. But is it better? Quality-wise, it's going to be the same. Like, it's going to look the same, but again, this is a convenience product. Oh, shit. The way it just snaps. Listen to this. You see that click? It just, it just snaps right in place. Hi, babe. Can't wait to do this. Yes, 
gym vlogs will be coming back. I don't know how scuffed they're going to be because I'm going to be vlogging with a mask on. But gym vlogs are coming back. So let me uh, let me try to put... Let's see if I can put together my setup. I don't think I will be able to, but I can give you guys an idea of what my new rig is going to look like. So next, we're going to open up this bad boy. So this is a go... go, go blah, blah, blah. This is a gorilla pod. If you don't know what a gorilla pod is, it's kind of like a flexible tripod. It's good for like being on the go. And the reason it's called gorilla pod is you can actually... Um, switch the beads you can move around like the beads of the camera to to fit any shape you want so you can make it hook onto things and um i, I have one but this is like a newer model so here's what it looks like i'm sure you guys have seen this youtubers use this camera um not camera the youtubers use this tripod so this is actually very like well known in the in the camera world at least Damn. Let me show you guys how the, this is supposed to work. Okay, so wow, this looks sick. So the difference I have is you guys see all this red. The one that I have doesn't have all red. It was just all uh, black, bro. I thought that was a vibrator. So this this plate is supposed to slide under my camera. So here's the slot for that right there. You all see that? So we'll slide that in. All right. Boom. That's how it is guys now i can actually like turn it around and stuff that's dope and then i have my flip up this is what it's gonna look like now another reason why i would choose to get this also is um this is actually this is also like a like a little bit of like a hack when it comes to filming tiktoks here's how i film my tiktoks guys boom now I got it vertical to film the TikToks. This is how people like actually go out and film like high quality cameras. So one, I can look at myself now. Two, it's it's vertical for, for TikTok and it's just it's just a banger. <clears throat> is there any reason you chose this over the A7 Mark III? The reason I chose this over the A7 Mark III is because I already have an entire line of uh what do you call this? E-mount crop sensor lenses. And if I were to buy the a7 mark three, it would mean that I'd have to invest in a whole different like line of lenses. And that's like another, what, at least like a couple thousand dollars, especially if I want like a really flexible line. So I stuck with APS-C crop sensor and plus this is like lighter anyways, too. So, um, I'm not, I'm not trying to film like the highest quality content. I, this is perfect for like being on the go. Oh, there we go. All right. So here's a small rig. And what, what this does is it goes on top just like that. Uh, I have to actually take the time to screw it on, but um, I'm not going to this stream because it's gonna, it's gonna take a while. So this small rig has hot shoe mounts. And if you don't know what a hot shoe mount is, a hot shoe mount is pretty much, um, it's this little thing on the camera, like this one right here, which allows you to slide like a mic on or um, any, any other like additional equipment that you wanna put on your camera. It allows you to put it on now this has two extra ones so two extra ones right here so you see the one on the very left and then the one on the top right so that's gonna place i would place that on top of this like just like that and my mic is going to be set up like this so now i have my high quality mic and and then i have this thing which is the led light also on a hot shoe mount you can see right there on the bottom but boom, wow, that's sick. Let me see if I can turn it on. <gasps> Holy shit, that's pretty bright. So this is my this is the this is the mini LED light. And when I turn it on, and it's supposed to go like this. Damn, bro, damn. Ah shit. So pretty much for the camera, it's gonna be up here. With the mic on the right side. Boom, that's an end game setup, but that's what it's going to be like. Holy crap, that's actually hype. Can I adjust the settings? Actually, let me double check. I think I should be able to. Oh my God, that is the lowest. So this is the lowest. And then it goes brighter. Like one, two, three, four. What in the world is this? Holy shit. Oh my God, I'm going to go blind from this shit. Oh, it's lit. 
holy that's actually hella bright for this little small camera so i'm not again i'm not gonna set it up i think i'll do a separate video on that entirely on its own but that is everything now the other thing i didn't open is my floodlights and the thing about the floodlights is uh that's also something you have to plug into the wall and and it's not a part of this camera rig that's like separate on its own that's that's pretty much it guys for my for my little haul i'm i thank you guys for coming um can't wait to set this up honestly gonna be hype uh let me just slowly put these things away